Uh, hi, welcome back. Uh, I'm Jasmine Foster, Jazzy Foster, sponsored by TLTF. And today I'm doing another video of wheels. So as of probably a week or two ago, uh, they posted about every wheel that you can purchase on the TLTF website. I am going to be going through uh, the 110s and the 100 meters for those wheels. I don't skate on 125, so I don't really know the differences between them. Uh, I have talked to Kurt about the 100s as for that. Um, I'm not going to get too far in depth between the yellow and the red wheels because I, ha I do have another video uploaded as well that has the differences between the red hub and the yellow hub for the 110 millimeters. There is a difference, however, with the blue 110 uh, millimeter wheels compared to what I spoke on last time, which I will get right into. Okay, so we're first going to start out with the blue core, the difference, differences between the Q7 blue core and the Q7.5s. The main difference is in the Q7s, it was a DP15, which I explained in a previous video, which I'll link below. And Q7.5 is DP18, so it has the same dual core as the yellow core hub and the red core hub. With that as well, in DP in the Q7.5s, the urethane is harder. So in previous um, years, it has been that the urethane has all been the same. Now the urethane in the 7.5s is harder. Now with that, most people think, well. That means it's going to have a lot more roll, but it's going to give away on grip. So one of the main things is because it has DP18 in it, the cornering is going to be a lot better than the Q7 blue core, which had the DP15 in it. I myself have not skated on it, but um, they were in Orlando Classic, and I only heard positive feedback on it. So next is Baby Badgers, so they're the 100 millimeter red core and yellow core Q7 hubs. I just call them Baby Badgers because it's a... The baby badgers. So in the baby badgers, they have DP21, which I'm kind of jealous about because it has even better dual pour. Um, I can't wait till they put it in the 110s. Uh, so I'm a little jealous of the pe the people skating on the 100s, the DP21. Uh, but it's a new pour. There is no difference between the colors of the yellow core and the red core for the baby badgers. It some people just have a preference on what color they choose, so we made it in both red and yellow for that. When I was in Orlando, I got a lot of positive feedback on the baby badgers. People were flying on, on them. Um, again, I'm jealous that I don't get to scale on DP21 with a new dual port in it, but I'm hoping soon they put it in the 110s because that's going to be... that wheel's going to be crazy. No, for the 110s. Moving on to the Q1s. So the Q1s kind of have the same differences between the Q7s. So the Q1 yellow core uh, honey badgers have 12 spoke. The these have 12 spoke, and then the red Q1s um, have 10 spoke. So again, more roll. I call it again like the sweet spot in between. I love the yellow core whatsoever, even if it's in Q1 or Q7. Um, again, with the red core Q1s, it's got a little bit more grip. Um, I do recommend these wheels for practices, especially with slippery floors. Um, if you've ever been to my rink or seen any videos of me skating, you know our floor is very slick. It's a concrete floor. So in the winter, it is very, very slick, and these wheels held up really well for such a uh, slick floor that I have. It's a very slippery floor. So uh, the yellows have a little bit more roll uh so compared to the reds it gives away a little bit on grip the reds have a lot of grip but give away and roll same as with the q7s i explained that in a previous video i think that's all i have for all the wheels and differences that we've changed a little bit so again quick recap q7 blue core and q7.5 blue core differences it is a dp18 now instead of DP15 and the urethane is harder in the Q7.5 than in now the yellow core Q7 and the red core Q7 as well as the Q7 blue core. It's a harder urethane in the Q7.5. Moving on to the baby badgers, there's no difference between the baby badgers. The baby badgers do have DP21 and the wheels now not DP18. 
And then between the Q1, yellow core, red core um, hub, it's just the uh, same as the Q7 yellow core and red core, it's same differences. And that is all I have for the wheels. It's a lot of inf a new information. It was for me when I was asking a lot of questions. But with that, there's a lot more coming, I do have to say. Uh, I spoke with Kurt not that long ago, and I'm super, super excited for what is in store for TLTF. I hope I answered a lot of your questions that you had and helped um, with anybody that was still confused on the differences with the wheels a little bit. If you do have any questions, please comment them down below i will try to answer them and don't um don't hesitate to reach out if you do have any questions and you just want to message me personally i have my facebook instagram all attached at the end of the video so you can just message me there if you need to thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on the new tltf um news and kind of updates and if we change our wheels a little bit I will make sure to keep you informed on that so thank you